be do an unboxing and a product review. We're going to be making this heart. We're going to be unboxing this human heart model from the learning resources. It says ages eight and plus, but we're still going to include our brothers in this. Also, we're going to be making flake blood. <laughs> well, let's get to it. All right, so let's start the unboxing, shall we? mom got this for us by the way and we just wanted to share it with our viewers okay. let's open it here let's turn it <laughs> all right well we unboxed it <laughs> so let me read some of the things about this heart first of all it tells you the heart study guide. It shows you just how to use it, putting water into the model and removing the water from the system. You we have this little um, red water um, solvent, and let's start opening up. Ooh, really want to be careful because it seems so like a really important piece of equipment. All right, so we made a few copies, and now I'm just going to read the highlight. How the heart works. It is important to understand that with each heartbeat, your heart is pumping blood two ways at once. Half of your heart fills and pumps blood with poor levels of oxygen to the lungs to get fresh oxygen. At the same time, the other half of your heart is working to pump blood that has fresh oxygen to the rest of your body. The right and left sides of your heart work together and pump at the same time. Cozy. Here are a few points about blood and about the heart. Blood is carried to and from your heart by a system of blood vessels. Arteries generally carry oxygen-rich blood away from your heart to your body. Veins generally return blood from your body to your heart. If all the blood vessels, arteries, and veins were stretched out end to end, they would measure over 60,000 miles, well enough to wrap around the world over two times. Blood is a bright red when it is rich in oxygen or comes in contact with oxygen. Here is one something about the heart. The resting rate of your heart decreases with age. An infant's resting heart rate can be as high as 120 beats per minute. A child's resting heart rate is about 90 beats per minute. Adults have resting heart rates between 70 to 80 beats per minute. So while Cozy sets up the model, I'm going to read these um, points on putting water into the model and then we're going to make the blood, or well, fake blood. Putting water into the model. For best results and to prevent mold, use distilled water. Work over a sink or water safe area. Use care with the red powder. Avoid contact with cloth to prevent staining. The model is designed to use 75 milliliters of water. The model must contain at least 40 milliliters of water, but do not exceed 120 milliliters in the unit to ensure correct performance. The red powder is a safe, food grade dye, but is not for consumption. Avoid contact with the eyes. Only use the dye provided with this model. Do not add food coloring. Add one packet of dye, which Cozy's holding up right now, and to 75 milliliters of water and mix to dissolve. So we put plastic on our table and I'm going to cut this red powder, which is already gone on my hands. And Cozy is going to pour the mixture after I mix it with about 75 milliliters of water. She's going to pour it into the veins, or I guess pretend veins, yeah, to bring it to the model heart. Oh. All right, don't hurt yourself. Thanks, Kobe. All right. <laughs> so they gave us about they gave us about seven packets of dye, but it says only add one packet of dye to the water. And wash hands immediately to avoid transfer of dye to hands or clothing. Oh, 
Oh wow, that already looks like blood. Yeah, just a little bit of it has got done that much. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Think about what happened if you have all that. That's all? Yep. It already looks like blood, honestly. Yeah. But like, this is so dark, but when, add, when you add this water. It's real blood since it's crushed up blood. Oh wow, it's so red. All right, now Cozy's going to pour it. Almost all in. Ooh. Great job, Cozy. <laughs> all right, now she's connecting it to the heart model. And let's see this work. It's about to be in action. Here on tight leaves, there you go. You can squish it, and then you can squish it. I can squish Soft it. Oh, wow. Do you guys see that? I want that to cool. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah, yeah, that's the front. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's the front. front. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Oh, my gosh. Look at that blood going in. Oh, wow. That is super cool. Look, it's spreading. It went into the right side, and on the back it says, oxygen poor blood returning from your body enters the right side of your heart, into the chamber called the right atrium. Wait, yeah, I didn't squeeze it yet. Yeah, you want to squeeze it? I want to find out. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, look at that. Look at the blood in the veins. This is kind of like, it's like satisfying. This is so satisfying, guys. Okay, now it's my time to squeeze again. All right, well, our brothers are still experimenting, but this was really fun. And I hope you guys learned a lot because we did. If you buy this product, remember to wash your hands and be really careful with the dye. Thanks for watching. So let's read the journey of the blood. I'm doing this pumping. R1 is the right atrium. R2 is the tricuspid valve. It goes from here, from body, and then all the way into the oxygen poor blood. Then it goes to the bottom at the right ventricle. But of course, in real life, a healthy lungs don't have blood at the bottom. This is just a model. And then for in the left atrium and the mitral valve, this is the oxygen-rich blood. And then it goes yeah, to the bottom so you can have oxygen. So thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe. Today's affirmation. I have peaceful thoughts and a joyful heart.